2023 at Agma Brewing Company, and here's the organizer, Cody Lockwood. Hi, Cody. How's it going, Bart? Good. Welcome to the show. Thank you. And you are. You're wearing Art Pop. Absolutely. Nice. Yeah. Yep. This uh, shirt is a kind of a culmination of what Art Pop is. It's always been about the community, uh, the local artists. So we actually had uh, Justin Melville from Mercurial Threads tie dye. Uh, then we had Zach Cox uh, from ZMC Tattoo design the logo. And then Maggie Schultz from um, Honey and Buffalo, the band, she screened it for us. So Wow, 100% local. All local. And they will be available at Art Pop. So uh, this isn't the first time you've done Art Pop. No, this is actually the fifth, uh, fifth Art Pop. We started uh, 2018 was the first year we did it. What is Art Pop? You know, that's a good question. Uh, Art pop was my excuse to put on a show. Uh, I had been traveling the comic convention circuit for many a years with my wife, uh, Audra Olivia, as an artist. And we were always thinking, you know, if we were ever to be able to put on a show, how would we put on a show? What would we do different than a comic con? What would we do different than an art festival traditionally? Uh, so we got some of our friends, local artists together and some local bands and boom, there was art pop. And it seems like every uh, time we do it, it just uh, grows bigger and bigger, especially when we found our home with uh, Augma Brewing Company. Shout out to my dudes. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, once we really teamed up with them, uh, art pop found a home and then it was really able to turn into what it is now. All right. Uh, it's going to be in and around Ogma because you, you can't fit everything. It sounds like you got a lot. It's so, not all going to fit in the store. So how what, what we're doing is uh, if you've driven downtown Jackson, uh, the uh, Ogma, that, that alleyway between the Chase and Ogma, uh, the guys bought and turned it into a beer garden. Mm -hmm. So right there in that beautiful mural, uh, they did landscaping and it's really cool. So that's going to be where all the artists are set up. Ah. Um, so we'll have uh, a number of artists and then the band stage will be all in there. So it'll all be self-contained right in the beer garden that they just built. Well, you brought along some photos, some of the artists and okay. their work. So let's take a look. Can you tell us? Uh, uh, there's the shirt. So three different shirts available. Uh, the tie-dye shirts, it's one per size. So super limited. Uh, then we have uh, a few different uh, options for the the black and the blue uh, of course the observer that's my favorite that's audra olivia uh local artist she did a mural here for bright walls right behind the, that's right the uh, big pink dinos the dinos yep. the pink dinos yep so she'll be there and there again is uh audra so she'll be there with her big setup uh so really happy to have her here in jackson that's a newer piece that uh, she put out. Again, she must like pink. Uh, she likes pink, teal, as you can, she has <laughs> a, a definitely a, a color palette that she likes to stick with. Uh, Zach Cox, ZMC Tattoo. So Zach, uh, dear friend, I'm representing a lot of his work tattoo wise. He'll be there uh, selling his art, but also uh, doing a lot of fun tattoo concepts and ideas, taking um, commission ZMC tattoo. Zach also did all of uh, any digital uh, image you saw of Art Pop was done by Zach Cox. So mm. uh, him and Paige, Paige, uh, they'll be collaborating, collaborating on some original art pieces as well. So lots of different options. There's a lot of different media that we'll be seeing here at Art Pop. So are people are gonna be painting like? Uh, there'll be no painting, okay. but there'll be some clever ideas for a uh, digital way you can create your own. Uh, we'll see Cloverland Tattoo, that's one of our sponsors. Uh, so yeah, so Zach, they're doing the Get What You Get. It's a Pokemon theme, so for all you Pokemon fans, uh, it's one price, you randomly draw, and that is your tattoo option. It's super fun idea. It's going crazy right now, but that's all out at Cloverland Tattoo. Yes, we have a lot of Pokemon players downtown. Oh yeah. First density material, you guys might know him as Jason Welsh. Uh, Jason is a, a local teacher, but also is a wizard when it comes to uh, uh, the, his style is called electroforming, so you can kind of see in these pictures, there are skulls and stuff with this copper around it. He actually grows with uh, science 
the copper and the, the brass around the solid image. First density material, amazing, amazing mm. human being and artist and creator, really cool stuff. And uh, he is like uh, one of the, he's considered in the industry one of the, the founders of this style. Of, Never heard of it. Yep, electroforming. He literally grows the metal around mm. the subject. All right, then we're skipping back here. This is the Page and Zach collaboration. So there'll be a lot of uh, unique art, again, from jewelry we just saw to traditional paintings. Uh, I think he has uh, some work on the wall at Augmento. So you're right. So Zach right now, uh, he previously did an, an art gallery at Augma Brewing. Also, he has he was part of the Bright Walls uh, for the last year, and he has an amazing piece right down in the alley behind Ogma as yeah, well. Yeah, uh, yellow, black, and thin. Craig Horky, a big deal if you ask me. Craig is an amazing, talented artist, mostly known for doing professional concert posters. Uh, he's a big uh, in the poster community, but does some really rad stuff. I'm really grateful and honored that uh, he decided to come here. And yes, maybe a little uh, not safe for work artwork. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, Craig does some amazing, amazing things. This is Austin Pardon, another amazing international artist, uh, has done a ton of stuff for really big companies. Um, yeah, I saw him. He was at the uh, Artitude, or the thing they had last uh, Halloween. Yep. Uh, oh, yeah. He is a Halloween king. Of course, Justine Melville from Mercurial Threads. She'll have a ton of amazing pieces, all uh, hand tie dyed. Uh, a lot of stuff she does, thrifted stuff, but some really amazing stuff. And we teamed up to do all of our art pop tie dyes. This is Eclectic Creations. This is Fun Needlepoint. Uh, so needle felting that she creates fun little whimsical creatures um, and she also is a ceramicist so there'll be some ceramics. I'm not certain if uh, the ceramic was probably not pictured um, but yeah she'll have a lot of fun stuff. Eclectic Creations Coco by Coco. Uh, uh, Aaron Gaston, so also known as Glass by Gaston, he's a glass blower professional and Swedish made toy. So he makes bootleg toys. Uh, so all of these action figures, he completely makes up a lot of stuff related to pop culture. Um, I'm super excited for Aaron. He's a good dear friend of mine, but then he also has a lot of amazing glass pieces, tie dye, um, a lot of unique stuff. Glass by Gaston. Yeah, I'd say very eclectic. It's a very, very eclectic. Yeah. Bad Love here. Um, Bad Love was an add-on. We just added them last night. There was a spot that opened up. And actually, Vernon, the artist of Bad Love, I had approached uh, when it first started, but he was already booked. So I was really happy that we get to see him here in Jackson, probably his first show in Jackson. Uh, but Bad Love, uh, again, a lot of these artists, yes, they're local, but they're more known internationally traveling all over. This is another Bad Love piece. Of course, a Twin Peaks uh, TV show uh, art piece, his fandom. Uh, super excited to have, to have them there. And again, another last minute peril for any of my hot sauce fanatics and fans. I'm a huge hot sauce fan. Um, and you know, you might think it's weird to have a hot sauce at an art show, but they do all of their art. Uh, I mean, this is art, this is music, this is uh, hot sauce. I'm super excited. It's really, it's hot sauce in the bottle? It's hot sauce in the bottle. And, and then they, they named it Putrid Pile? <laughs> Putrid Pile. So they definitely play and <laughs> are big fans of heavy metal, doom metal. So, mm. uh, you know, and if you've been into Augma Brewing Company, you notice uh, there's a lot of metal, heavy metal uh, playing in yes. there. And yeah. uh, in addition to all that, there's uh, artists. You mentioned Honey and Buffalo. Yep. So our, as far as our musicians, we have an amazingly talented um, local bands, Honey and Buffalo. One of my, I, I'm so excited um, to see them. Uh, Harper and Wade. It's a newer uh, band that I'm not familiar with, but we have everyone. Uh, you know, closing it out, there's going to be Carbon Decoy and, of course, Command Prompt. If you guys have ever seen Command Prompt, they are a loud party, electronica, dance. It's going to, downtown Jackson is going to 
love it. Sounds like a crazy day. It's going to be all up. day. All right, what, what are the hours? Uh, we're 11 to 10 p.m. 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Cool, we'll have a great time. $5 admission at the door. This Saturday at Agma Brewing yep. on East Michigan Avenue downtown. Thanks, Cody. Thank you, Bart. That's it. We're all out of time. Thanks to Cody and all our guests today. Thanks to our great crew, our sponsors. Thanks to all of you for tuning in today. Hope you get a chance to get to Art Pop and all the other great things happening all throughout our community this weekend. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend.